felt so cooler today. It's not so windy here, but down out by the beach there, it's really windy. So we're just taking a walk through town and we're also looking where the other stores are and stuff. We are kind of in the market for maybe a mango or <laughs> yeah, what else, Barb? A mango, maybe another grapefruit, but we haven't found any nice ones. And the fruit store that we went to the other day, it's closed. Yeah, so Barbara and I have decided that we're going to stay here for another three days after today instead of packing up tomorrow morning and leaving because we really like it here. It's a quiet place. It's it's calm. Ready access to the internet. We get pampered. Derek's awesome. He brought us some more water. Um, yeah, the place we're staying at. Oh, there's a wind. We actually got a kitchen so we can prepare our own food, which saves us money, but gets us walking around town looking for stuff. In the past, one of the things I regretted about my bicycle tours was that I never stopped anywhere for more than a day or two. And you know, if you're just flying through a place, you don't get the real feel of it. So in order to really fall in love with the place, I think you have to spend a bit more time. And uh, that's what we're doing. I'm going to the lagoon side of the uh, town, or I shouldn't say lagoon, it's the, the mangroves. I wanted to fly the drone. I don't know if I will, because if it's too windy over there, it gets windy here. It rained overnight. There's some very old buildings in San Crisanto. So City Hall. There's a basketball court. I haven't seen anybody play. And then there's this building. I don't know what it is. Definitely abandoned. Who isn't intrigued by abandoned old buildings? You tell me, what would these walls have to tell if they could talk? The strong wind and eventually rain persisted for most of the day, but it was warm. So hey, why not go for a swim? Is this crazy or do you like getting wet? Well, if you do, be sure to keep watching till the end. As for other outdoor activities, well, that day we didn't do much. It was just too stormy outside. See, in uh, San Crisanto, the sun doesn't rise above the ocean. But that doesn't mean it doesn't rise above water. So I decided to take my drone where they have those basins and where they have those lagoons where they uh, make the salt. I think that's what they do. One thing about the Emerald Coast is that the sun doesn't rise nor set above the ocean. But hey, there's so much water surrounding these places that you could still get a sunrise with all the reflection on the water. You just have to know where to go. Now 
now that we're up in the air at a different location than the beach, let's just turn around a bit and check out the village. The weather started off significantly better than the day before, so we decided we're going to go on a little excursion. Twelve years ago I was staying somewhere along this stretch of road for three days or so. Fell in love with the place and it feels really strange to go by there now because I mean, it's 12 years. I don't even recognize it, even though it all looks pretty similar. But I couldn't say where exactly it was. Our destination was Saya Chatun. It's another lagoon about 13 kilometers away, and you can explore it by kayak. So, Barb and I are going to go on a ride with a kayak. We're also going to have a guide with us. Look carefully at these birds. They were the first ones we saw. We never got their name. As soon as we left the dock, the clouds turned dark and yes, we had some rain. We had serious challenges trying to film this. kayak and we're watching flamingos we got rained on but it's all good camera is dry and uh, it stopped raining at the bottom of this lagoon is a kind of clay that the indigenous people used for centuries to treat skin ailments Barbara is demonstrating it here then our guide asked us if we wanted to see the ojo de agua where was he taking us it was raining again. Well, the Ojo de Agua was a tiny freshwater hole, or cenote, that was right in the middle of the lake. Can you see the two crabs that are catching sausage pieces that our guide was throwing at them? Well, this was our big adventure for that day, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So Barbara and I did the uh, tour with the kayak and the guide. We did it in the rain. I don't know what the footage turned out like, but I think you probably already saw it. It was wet. I was getting worried about my phone getting too wet. And uh, we had three cameras, Barbara's phone, the water camera and this one that I'm talking to right now. It was definitely too wet for this one, but this is the only one that had this zoom to get a good shot of the flamingos. So I'm really hoping it worked. The bar brush truck. <laughs> okay, here, here's another one on my phone. Look at me. Hello. Actually, we're in Telchac Puerto. 
because we went here this morning for that ride, that uh, kayak ride that I showed you. And now we're just checking out the pier. And we're still staying in San Crisanto because we've got such an awesome place there and it's nice and quiet. Here it's a little bit different. There are more people here and it's kind of interesting, but we don't need to spend a whole lot of time here because we'll come through here again. Barbara took advantage of the shopping opportunity while I went around and checked out the Malecon or the pier boardwalk. Oh, there we go, a big cash transaction. I didn't even count the days anymore. I think we're probably on day seven here, or maybe, what is it, Barb? Probably day seven in San Crisanto. And we're so comfortable here. And it's almost hard to get our heads around that we're leaving this place tomorrow. We're not gonna go very far. We're planning to go to Progreso, which is only about 50 kilometers away. And uh, we're still on the same coast and if we find a nice place there we're gonna take advantage probably for a few days as well but it all depends a beautiful place <laughs> and I recommend the octopus if you ever come through here you gotta look up Derek and his um, apartments called the octopus and uh, yeah they've really looked after us haven't they yeah the place is exceptional I mean, he actually makes sure that uh, nothing is missing. He supplies the coffee. He supplies all the drinking water. Nobody else has done that for us. We have gas for cooking. I mean, and the price is comparable to any, any old hotel room, really. It's a small town. Guess that has something to do with it. But hey, for us, that's just ideal. So that's if you want Star TV, all you have to do is talk to the guy, I think. What a way to promote media. Well, I'm sticking to the old way by asking you to like this video, perhaps subscribe to my channel, and watch some more of my videos. Thank you so much.